everybody. I'm back. Hopefully this will be a short video. Um, I'm actually headed out in a few minutes to um, go substitute teach. So this is a um, thrift outfit of the day slash uh, my vintage coat collection. I had talked about it on my very first video that I had a vintage coat collection um, and said I would show it to you guys. Um, and it's been a couple of weeks and I realized that if I don't do it now, you guys will never see it. So anyway, let me start with the um, thrift outfit of the day. Sorry, I got an itch on my neck. Um, thrift outfit of the day. Everything I'm wearing is thrift. I'm actually headed to substitute, um, like I said, um, actually at a preschool uh, special education nine cat program, which is one of my favorite um, substituting assignments when I can get it. Um, they're like uh, two-ish, three-ish, four-year-olds. Um, lots of fun. Very bright little kids. Um, very resilient. Um, always gives me a reminder. Sorry, the heat's getting ready to cut on. It's kind of chilly. Um, a reminder to um, that I don't have things so bad. Um, these kids are tough kids um, and um, thrive in spite of um, the, I don't want to say issues, the difficulties that they have. Anyway, this is my thrift outfit of the day. Um, I have on, I believe I showed this Jones of New York um, velveteen vest. Um, I have on a boys uh, polo, see an old button down, um, blue. Um, the khakis that I told you all about um, in one of my videos that I got two pair um, for $6.99 each. These are the J. Crew that still have the tags attached that were like 50 bucks a piece. Um, so I've got those, and then I've got a pair of Nine West shoes on um, that I'm going to wear. So this is my thrift outfit of the day. Um, kind of a, uh, almost like, I don't know if you guys have seen the Woody Allen movie, Annie Hall, kind of an Annie Hall kind of look um, to it. It's rainy here, so, and the classrooms are kind of casual, so this is it. Um, so if I get paint, I don't know what we're going to be doing, but if I get paint on it, it'll be okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, hopefully I can, fingers crossed, get through these. I've got a lot. I don't know if you guys can see. I've still got them hanging, and I've actually, the ones that I'm going to show you are here on a pile on the floor, and there's some behind the door. I think I counted like, I want to say 40, and I thinned my collection down. Anyway, I love coats. Enough said. This is the first one here. Um, it is not, well, it's not a coat, it's a poncho. Um, and it's made out of carpet material. Um, I have seen this particular fabric and this particular design on eBay and Etsy uh, in a clutch coat form, but I have never seen it in a poncho. So I don't know whether this is like a redo or what, but it's a really good, whoever did it, if it is a redo, it's a really good job. Um, it's lined. Whoop and it has a zipper in the back and a cover button to match. Really cute. I've worn it like once. Um, this one uh, I got for nothing um, and I'm sentimentally attached to this because this is my old was my older brother's before I snagged it. Um, and he grew up, he's a 70s guy, uh, born in the 50s, so this is authentic 70s wear. Notice the collar. Um, and so I've got this from him. He was he's six foot, over six feet tall, so had to roll the sleeves up. But it's really nice with a pair of jeans and a turtleneck underneath. Um, thank you, Baba. His name is Roger. He's in Afghanistan right now. Miss you, Baba. Love you. Stay safe. Anyway, uh, here's another one. This is one of my favorites, and I actually thought about selling this one, and then. The more I thought about it, the more I thought, not, because this, I have, I have yet to see, I've seen other faux fur capes, um, but I've never seen this one uh, as pretty. Beautiful black lining inside. The only flaw to it is, and you don't notice it, because I missed it when I picked it out. Not that that would have kept me from buying it, and I got this at the thrift store. Um, the other cape I got off of eBay, the... But this one I got at the thrift store. Um, but the flaw is it's missing a button. It's got three, and then there's actually supposed to be a fourth one. And I didn't notice it. 
So, um, and it's also supposed to have a belt, but, you know, um, patent leather belt. I, I got the hat. I wear hats. And I love to wear hats. My mother was a hat person, so a lot of the characteristics of the stuff that I like and I wear, I got from my mom and my sister and so forth and so on. But I got the perfect hat to wear with this when it gets cool enough, so I'm ready. I'll show you that. That will definitely be part of an outfit of the day. This is another cape. Got this one from the thrift store, too. Um, this one, there's nothing wrong with it other than it is missing a belt. It has belt loops, too. Um, but again, you know, hey, looks good without, looks good with. So I got that one at the thrift store as well. Uh, this one I just acquired from the thrift store, too. This actually, probably like in August, September-ish, when they were just starting to put their coats out. Um, I got this one from the thrift store. Um, it was it was twenty nine ninety, twenty five percent off. Um, and I have seen coats like this on eBay and Etsy too, but I have never seen them in this color. I've seen brown and I've seen black and I think I've seen red. <coughs> Excuse me, but I've never seen a green one. And it also has the belt, which is very rare, usually for coats that are supposed to have belts for the belt to be with them. So I'm really excited about wearing this. Have I had to wear it with this one too? Um, this one is by Davis of Boston, um, a division of Jonathan Logan, which is a company that's still around, but um, I think they're more, I guess you can find them in department stores. I don't know where you can find Jonathan Logan anymore. Uh, I know I've seen them pop up in places like Ross um, and Marshalls and I think TJ Maxx, um, kind of the discount department stores, but I'm not really sure where they start at. Um, this one, I can't remember if I got this one off of eBay or if I got it from a thrift store. But this one is cowhide. It is cowhide. It's not tan. It's not anything. Um, and it was made in Israel, and, and I like it. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my phone because I'm going to have to jet out of here in a few minutes to make sure I'm not running out of time. Um, I really like it. It's fun. This one is missing a belt, too. Uh, so, that one. This one I got off of... Uh, eBay, and I love this coat. I have gotten so many compliments on this coat. Um, I have a, uh, I got it from Walmart. A norm, not this, not the coat, but I have a normal Kamali um, turtleneck dress out of that stretchy kind of. Um, I can't think of what. Uh, anyway, it's a turtleneck dress, zippers along the neck, and I've worn it with that with some black boots and worn this over. Um, it, and I've gotten lots of compliments. This reminds me, I don't know if you guys have seen the ad for Talbot this season. They have a leopard coat very similar to this as far as styling is concerned. But this is vintage. Um, I actually, nope, this isn't the one. Um, I have another one actually that, um, this is a safari, um, no, traveler's coat, sorry. Um, it has the buttons. Very pretty, very cute on. Um, this is one of my, how many, three, four, I think four or five animal print coats. <laughs> a couple of them we've already seen. This is the first one that I bought from the thrift store. This one is a Safari by La France. Um, and this is a really nice fur coat. I mean, it feels so furry. Um, so, um, and I like the buttons, the carved ivory carved buttons, really pretty on. I know it kind of reminds me of one of those, um, one of those, um, coats that you would see like, um, Pam Greer, where in the 70s, we call, they, at the time they were called black exploitation films, you know, like Shaft, Get Christy Love, those. This is what that reminds me of. I can so imagine Pam Greer wearing this and rocking her fro and her boots. I can see her wearing this, and I really like this coat. Uh, let me see. This is another one. Um, I got this one off of eBay. I actually lucked out. I have yet to see one like this at all, um, since. Um, it's a carpet coat. Um, very pretty. I don't know if you can tell. It's red. It doesn't show up real well on camera. And then it has a hood. 
Um, and it actually has this, it actually came with um, with this trim that's on the hood in here, on the sleeve, and uh, and around the bottom. But it didn't hang right, and so I don't know whether I don't know whether it's that's original to the coat, or if it's an add-on. But I took them off the sleeves. I don't think it takes away from the coat at all. Plus, I couldn't get my hands through um, because the, the they didn't use enough. Anyway, it, it didn't work, so I took it off. But I really like this coat. Okay. Rinding down to my last couple, and hopefully I haven't run out of time. Um, this is one of my favorites I got off of eBay, too. Uh, it's just a velveteen orange paisley coat. It's just unusual. I mean, you know, it's your typical double-breasted design, but it's the fabric that makes the coat. And that's why I like vintage coats, is because they're, you know, in fabrics and um, unusual designs that you don't see. You know, you see black coats, you see brown coats, but you never, in at least coats made now, that aren't a lot of money, I should say, you don't see anything extraordinary. I mean, even the ones that are solid come in kind of bland colors. Um, and this is one of the ones, I just purchased this off of Etsy. This is my first Etsy purchase. Isn't this beautiful? It's all fuzzy. It's a yellow um, Ruth Matthews coat, um, I think from like the 1970s. But, I mean, it's it's a simple design, but I love the pocket, and I love the zipper, and I love the fact that it stands up, and, ah, you know, it hits, not a maxi, but it hits below the calf, so it's a nice long, long coat, but really pretty color. I wore this one day when it was cool, and I really like this. Uh, this is another one, um, and I'm down to my last two that I got off of eBay, um, plaid. Um, very unusual. I'm not sure what kind of fabric it is. Um, there aren't a lot of labels in here. Um, I don't think there's one of just the fabric content. Let's see. No, it's made in the U.S. Let's see. Because I never really tells you how much I pay attention to my coat. Nope. Just says professional dry clean. So I have no idea what the fabric is. And it's by a designer called Richard Barr. 